Cleidocranial dysplasia by Jennifer Peterman and Eileen Scholl. Definition. Cleidocranial dysplasia, also known as cleidocranial diastoses, is a rare autosomal dominant disorder affecting all skeletal elements, especially bones of intermemorous origin. CCD is caused by a mutation in the gene 6P21, which controls the runt-related transcription factor 2. Although autosomal dominant, mutations in the RUNT2 gene spontaneously occur in 60-70% to 70 of those diagnosed with CCD. The genetic mutations associated with CCD have a high penetrance. Clinical Findings Clinical Symptoms Patients would present because of delayed permanent tooth eruption and or malocclusion. Patients would be otherwise asymptomatic because other oral manifestations of CCD are usually undetected by the patient. Clinical Signs Signs of CCD include delayed eruption of secondary dentition, retention of primary teeth, and multiple supernumerary teeth. Prognathic jaw relation may occur due to a hypoplastic maxilla. A patent mandibular symphysis may also be present. Non-oral clinical signs include hypoplasia or absence of the clavicle and scapula causing hypermobility in the shoulders as indicated in the picture, frontal, parietal, and occipital bossing causing an enlarged cranium, retained mitopic sutures, poorly developed or absent sinuses, depressed nasal bridge with a broad base, cone-shaped thorax, short stature, and a wide pubic synthesis. Demographics. There is equal predilection in males and females of all ethnic groups. CCD has a prevalence of 1 in 1 million. Radiographic findings. The location is generalized, both in the maxilla and the mandible. The edge is ill-defined, increased development of bone terbeculation, and well-defined supernumerary teeth present. There is no defined shape. The internal structures are radiopaque supernumerary teeth and coarse terbeculation of the mandible. Other structures include teeth may be displaced in any direction, and the mandibular symphysis may be apparent. There is multiple supernumerary teeth. This is a pantomograph of a patient with CCD showing multiple supernumerary teeth and coarse terbeculation of the mandible. Other radiographic findings include open skull sutures, as seen in the top picture, warmium bones, absence of clavicles, underdeveloped maxilla and absent or very small maxillary sinuses, a normal-sized mandible, a flared coronoid process with a distal curvature, thickening of the ascending ramus, hypoplastic nasal bones, a downward curvature of the zygomatic arch, and delayed closure of the pubic symphysis, as seen in the bottom picture. Differential interpretation and decreasing order of likelihood. Clidocranial dysplasia. Patients with CCD present with delayed eruption of permanent teeth, retained primary teeth, and multiple supernumerary teeth. A common extraoral clinical sign is clavicular hypoplasia. Gardner syndrome. Both CCD and Gardner syndrome exhibit multiple unerupted supernumerary and permanent teeth. Patients with Gardner syndrome will also present with intestinal polyps, multiple osteomas, and multiple dense bone islands. Pycnodysostoses. Pycnodysostoses is similar to CCD in that patients will have multiple supernumerary teeth, failure of cranial suture closure, and a short stature. Patients with pycnodysostoses have an autosomal recessive trait causing a mutation in the cathepsin K that is secreted by osteoclasts, leading to increased radiopacity of all bones. Mandibular dysplasia. Similarities of CCD and mandibular dysplasia include dysplastic clavicles, short stature, and delayed closure of cranial sutures. Patients with mandibular dysplasia are differentiated from CCD by early tooth loss, mandibular hypoplasia, sparse scalp hair, decreased subcutaneous fat, and a hyperpigmented rash over the trunk. Treatment. Ideal treatment of CCD is performed before age 5. Referral to an oral surgeon and orthodontist is recommended. Treatment includes removal of retained primary and supernumerary teeth for improvement of masticatory function and aesthetics. Orthodontic procedures can assist in erupting and aligning impacted teeth. Autotransplantation of teeth has been a successful option for older patients. Removable or fixed prosthesis can be used to fill edentulous spaces if needed. No treatment is also an option. Final treatment. Diagnosis before age 5 and a combination of extractions and orthodontic treatment would provide the best outcome.
Key points. Signs of CCD include delayed eruption of secondary dentition, retention of primary teeth, and multiple supernumerary teeth. Radiographic findings include multiple supernumerary teeth and coarse trabeculation of the mandible. Diagnosis before age 5 and a combination of extractions and orthodontic treatment would provide the best outcome. These are our resources and our image credits. Thank you.